The 20th century world into the 21st century has had sort of a love-hate relationship with modernity. On the one hand, you have these very hopeful visions of technology solving all of our problems, uh, perhaps best enshrined in Star Trek. But on the other hand, you have a real fear of technology that you see in something like The Matrix or Blade Runner. Uh, you have uh, Kurzweil seeing transhumanism and technology as being the source of, of salvation for humanity. You have other people fearing nuclear or uh, biological holocaust. We don't really know what to make of the modern world. And increasingly people are distrustful of it. They're distrustful of science, they're distrustful of technology, they're distrustful of the ideas and the assumptions that underlie the concepts of progress. And this has led to the arrival of thought known as postmodernism, an attempt to get past the modern world. And this is characterized by two different types of movements. One of them is your, your academic postmodernists that question whether truth is knowable, that question reality, that see everything largely in political terms, in, in control of language. Um, and on the other hand, you have people who reject Western paradigms altogether and who go with more of a mystical approach, the uh, Eastern religions, New Age movement, those kinds of things. Both of them share a number of assumptions in common, however, a number of values in common. Uh, one of them is an idea of tolerance that says that uh, whatever you believe is good for you is fine. Um, I have no right to an opinion on what you believe. I have no right to do anything but to celebrate your choices. Um, and really, it doesn't matter what you believe, as long as you don't hurt anybody. Now, the irony about this is that this is largely the worldview of the ancient Roman world. What we are doing, in a lot of ways, is returning to ancient Roman paganism. Uh, not in detail, but in practice, in terms of the worldview. And what this brings with it is all of the things that accompanied this worldview in ancient Rome. It brings with it, um, ultimately a devaluation of human life. We see this in people who are openly advocating infanticide like uh, Peter Singer. Uh, we see it in abortion. Uh, we see it in uh, movements toward euthanasia. Uh, we see it in uh, a revived form of eugenics. There are all kinds of ways that this begins to show up. Even, again, transhumanism. Uh, which sees human beings as imperfect but perfectible by the appropriate technology. The implication being people who aren't perfect don't deserve to live. So in the absence of a recovery of a biblical idea of the image of God, I think the society is going to be moving into an area increasingly where human life is devalued, where people who no longer can make a positive contribution to society are going to be um, pressured um, into extinction.